Hi, I'm Seamless, and today is Wednesday, which means it's time for a Production Basics tutorial. And today we're going to talk about gear. What gear do you need to produce music? What gear do you need to be a professional music producer? What's the minimum required minimum amount of gear to, that you want to produce music? And the answer to that question is like almost nothing. You barely need anything at all. You need a computer. That's pretty much it. Um, there's a lot of reasons for this. Uh, mostly exists to make what you're doing easier but it doesn't necessarily enable you to do it in a way that you couldn't already do it without it. Like, for example, a MIDI keyboard is a lot easier than playing on an actual typing keyboard or, you know, playing with a mouse. Of course, you can. I, I'm actually better at writing stuff with a mouse than I am with the keyboard because I have used the mouse for four years before I ever had a keyboard to put into FL, even though I had piano lessons for 11 years prior to actually being a producer. Um, like, that, that specific kind of gear, like, you don't need that. It's, it's handy, you know? And that's also like if the musicians in particular, like music, music, musical instruments, like keyboards, guitars, that kind of stuff. Some people revolve their whole musical careers around that writing style because that's who they are. Like, I'm not a guitarist. I just play the guitar. There's a serious difference in that. But a guitarist who wants to get into producing music will probably want to write stuff in the frame of having a guitar. So to them, having a guitar is not it's indispensable. They have to do that. Same thing with someone who might be a pianist, someone who does not just merely play the piano like me, but is a pianist. They would th see that thing as being indispensable. But the only thing that I really see as being indispensable in a truly functional technical sense is just a computer capable of running a day, the DAW that you want to use. And hell, there's even free DAWs that you can get. And what this boils down to is that gear, and even to a lesser extent, like VSTs and stuff, different kinds of plugins, like, you know are like stock free compressors better than ozone or can they can they do ozone like is stock free reverb better like or worse that kind of thing stock plugins in general get a pretty bad rap but here's the thing if you learn enough about the basics of what you're doing not just sound design but also like things like mixing and like oh, the really the most the super tiny basics about the idea what the word leveling means that kind of thing you learn that kind of stuff you will eventually be able to do anything with anything and that's, that's, a, that's a position that I like to think I'm in, where even though I have no idea how to use FM8, like in a truly like mechanical sense, because I understand what, how FM works, I can use FM8, because all FM plugins digitally work the same way. And just like if I figured out, if I figure, I know how to make a super saw, I can make a super saw with anything. I can make a super saw with a saw wave sample, because that's just that's the level, of the fundamentals I get. And and like that brings us to the title of this video, which is that skills are greater than gear, which is to say that skills are more important than gear. If you have, the more skills you have, the less gear you need, the less the less extra stuff that you need to pay for, that kind of thing. Now, I'm not necessarily advocating for a gearless existence, because obviously, but because because gear is good, gear is great, gear makes the gears makes things easy, and gear is also totally bitching, like it's just the coolest thing ever, but you don't need it, it's not necessary, it's handy. And it's a good time. But you can totally, you could produce everything I've ever done without any of the things I use to do it. And, you know, with the exception of an awe. And a very few things that are very specific to Harbor. But even then, you can still do that kind of stuff with, like, Camel Alchemy. Or Reasons Additive Plugin. And I, I don't remember what they used, what they called it. But there's a thing. They're, like, if you know enough about the synthesis type, hell, you can do what I do with Harbor with just a sine wave sample if, you're, if you've got enough time on your hands. Um... It's, uh, you know, I, not that I'm necessarily advocating to do that, but you can, is the point. And nothing is really separating you from accomplishing with what you've got, what you want to do, than the skills that you have at manipulating the tools at your disposal. Because DAWs, as a, as a tool set, are ludicrous in, in their, in their like, potential, in, in terms of what they can do. No one has fully tapped out what a DAW can do. Any DAW, especially these days. As the years passed, like when I started, DAWs were very specific things. Before this was before Ableton was a thing, like FL version four. Like there was FL, there was Reason, there was Logic, uh, there was GarageBand. I'm sure I don't really remember. But point being is that like they all had their very specific purposes, and there were like there was Pro Tools, there was Digital Performer, there were the recording DAWs, and then there was like the production DAWs, and then there was then there were mastering DAWs. There's still mastering DAWs, but like the point being is that these days DAWs have matured enough, and the technology has matured enough that like everything can do anything so people who are starting out now are very lucky in that particular regard because back in the day perhaps even i mean before even my day 
gear was a necessity because you couldn't do anything without it. Like when Pro Tools was new, you barely could operate on a, on like an incredible computer to the point where they actually designed their own hardware acceleration so that you can you can use Pro Tools. They've done away with that because they don't need it anymore. Because drivers are good enough, and the CPUs are good enough, and RAM's good enough, and there's enough hard drive space. Like you don't like hard drives are better. SSDs are a thing. Like the SSDs were a thing even recently. You know, it, it might still not be a thing for a lot of people because they're too expensive, but you still don't need them. You know, but they're great. Point being is that things are so good now that you don't really need gear. You don't need the extra help to do it in a very in a very like profoundly fundamental sense. And even from there, you can do crazy, unexpected, unique, and powerful things. And a lot of the, the, the pro East of pro people have done these things on almost nothing. And most of the good, cool stories about people who are, who are, you know, running up and coming up and being those kinds of pros are all about doing something from nothing. And at, that, at their point, it was them struggling in a desert of, you know, poverty, that kind of thing, or just, like, circumstance that meant that they only had, oh, speaker to work with in the hotel room or something like that. But for us, it's because the basic package could just do what we needed to do. And this comes back to the idea that skills are more important than gear because the thing that's stopping you from doing what you want to do is, is skills. Even for me, the stuff that's stopping me from doing what I want to do is just the necessary knowledge to manipulate what I have and do what they did. Even if the people who did it did not necessarily have, they don't, that's not, not to say that they have the knowledge because chances are they have, they use the gear, they use the plugin, they use the whatever with a particular setting that they didn't design to do the thing that ended up being what they did. And that was their choice to do that. And that was their decision. And then if I want to do it, I can either have precisely what they have. But if I can't get what they got, then I'll figure out some other way to do it because I can. Because I have the skills. It may have taken me 12 years to get here. But it won't take you guys 12 years to get here. Because like 8 of my 12 years were spent in like a technologically inferior like alternate dimension compared to what we have now. Also, I was spending a lot of time doing metal instead of doing this stuff. But like... You could probably, you could get to my level of understanding. You can get to my kind of skills and my level of experience in, in like maybe two years if you like really crunch at it to the point where you don't need gear. You don't need it. I don't need it. I could do anything with anything. Like I can be put in a room with a doll I've never seen before with plugins I've never used. And because they all work on the same basic principles that everything that we're used to using does, I will eventually figure out how to do what I want to do. It will take a long time and probably end up being crap, but I, it's, the, it's still potentially true. I can still do that given enough time obviously we, pref we prefer things that are more comfortable to us i prefer using fl i prefer using pcs i like my mini keyboard i like the hell out of this shit like i like guitars i like all this stuff and it makes a lot of, it makes doing the things that involve these things a lot easier i just don't need it and neither do you um at least you know in a very minimal sense like you what's separating you from professional stardom is not the amount of money you're spending on what you're what you've got to do what you want to do that's for damn sure. If you have any questions about this, please let me know. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And as usual, have a nice day. I hope any of that made sense.